Eric's mom, Marcus and Eddie. Well, friends, it's always time for us to wrap things up here at Tonightly. There's going to be a best of show tomorrow night, which myself and the reporters have put together some of our favourite Tonightly moments. Please tune in for that. I won't be. But, um... <laughs> This is pretty much it, you know? It's like the last time I'm, we're recording in front of a live studio audience. Aww. It's gonna be the... It's gonna be too late. It's, um, <laughs> it's gonna be the last time I hear this noise. <laughs> it's gonna be the last time I'm gonna avoid the drone. No! <laughs> 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 Fuck off. <laughs> it's the last time I'll get to do some funny satire. It's the last time I'll get to do one of these. <laughs> I can't believe we only got to do one instalment of Mock a Muslim. Uh, <laughs> hey, there was context. There was context. <laughs> it's the last time I'm going to ask Albo what he thinks about certain blokes. The bloke's a tool. No. <laughs> well, Bob Catter, I think I'm going to miss you most of all. I mean, you know, people are entitled to their <laughs> sexual proclivities. <laughs> you know, I mean. Let there be a thousand blossoms bloom as far as I can see. You know, but I ain't spending any time on it because in the meantime, every three months, a person was torn to pieces by a crocodile in North Queensland. <laughs> Brings a tear to the eye. Uh, look, I'm going to say a few things, uh, uh, folks. I'm not going to get too uh, self-indulgent, I hope, but please uh, bear with me. Um, there are just too many people involved in this show to thank individually, um, but I'm going to do my best to, to burn through as many as I can. Firstly, to the reporters, to Greg, uh, Bridie, Greta and Nina, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I consider you friends. It has been such an honour to make this show with you and bring it to people at home. Uh, I love you very much. Thank you so much for your work. Uh, thank you so much to the... Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, to all the contributors who put together pieces of their show, thank you so much. Uh, to point it to, to isolate a few people and thank them individually, our series producer Margie Smithhurst, who used to work, used to run the Bolt Report. She had fun. Uh, <laughs> she told us all his secrets. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Margie, we love you. Our head writer Michael Chamberlain, you're a genius and a dear friend. Thank you very much. And our entire graphics team on Tonightly have consistently gone above and beyond for making the incredible stuff you've been watching tonight, the extraordinary packages, to the dumbest photoshops of putting a, a dick on something. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, to everybody uh, who makes this show possible, uh, Carmen in Wardrobe, the makeup crew, and the extraordinary crew, the ABC crew led ably by our wonderful director, Sarah Walker. Thank you so much. You are, you are incredible people. And this organisation <laughs> is very, very lucky to have you. So thank you very much to all of you. <clears throat> <clears throat> say a huge thank you to the executive producers on, who have worked on this show, our, our, our top uh, showrunners, Andrew Garrick, who worked in season one, who set up this show, who poured hours and hours and hours and sweat and blood into making Tonightly exist at all. Thank you, Andrew. Dan Illich, who came on as our showrunner for series two, thank you very much. And our network EP, Nick Hayden, who has been with us from the very start, and we could not have asked for better people in those positions. So, so thank you, guys. Um, and to all the team at Tonightly, uh, uh, there, there are just too many, from the writers to logistics, camera editors, shooters, um, everybody, the assistant producers, everybody thank you so much it has been such an honor to present the work of this show on camera uh, for our audience every night you are family to me I love you I look forward to getting fucked up at the rap party with you very soon <laughs> uh, I want to say a huge thank you to the ABC we've made a few jokes about the ABC tonight <laughs> but I have a fundamental love of this place I think the ABC is incredible and we are so lucky to have made this show at all. Thank you, dear friends at the ABC, for making this show happen at all. It is sad that it's ending now, but it just could not have happened anywhere else, maybe at SBS, perhaps, or even, like, half the budget, the shit budget that we had. <laughs> it, it is incredible. There have been champions at this network who have championed the show and made this happen and made it work, so thank you so much. Um, we, we have to value the ABC. This place is incredible. Um, it's under threat a little bit at the moment. It feels like that, but I just, I'm so thankful for the ABC. Not just because they give me jobs sometimes, <laughs> but as a viewer and as a listener, as an Australian, I really think that this place is vital for our culture and for our country. And if you love the ABC, please let people know about it. Please defend it and cherish it. But... <laughs> Love the 
ABC, love the ABC, love the ABC, but a bit of feedback. Um... <laughs> Intimately, that's totally fine. No one deserves a TV show, okay? No one's human rights are being uh, 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 overruled here. But please, please, please do not stop making things like this. Please do not stop making risky and subversive and fun and cr batshit crazy and boundary pushing shit like tonightly. Please don't do it, particularly stuff for young people. Please don't do it. Keep making stuff. Keep taking risks. It's not helping happening anywhere else on, on, on mainstream free-to-air Australian television. Please keep doing things and making things like this show for young people. I beg you. Please. Because... Look, I think... The truth is, Tonightly was a good TV show. <laughs> Sometimes it was really shit. <laughs> we made a lot of shit. I'm on screen most of the time. I'll take the cop for that. I did a lot of shit things on television. <laughs> and you sat through it. Or you didn't. And that's why it's ending. <laughs> but... <laughs> Bunch of times we were quite shit. Uh, the overwhelming majority of the time, we, we were v perfectly fine and doing a very good job and turning around half an hour of, uh, of comedy every night and making some really funny stuff every now and again. Sometimes we're really, really, really quite good. And then every once in a while, I think we were extraordinary. I really believe that. Every now and again, we were making some of the funniest and most interesting and different and original and important comedy on Australian television. And I'm so proud of that, particularly over the past couple of months. So, so proud of that. And... Uh, and, and I think that should be acknowledged. And to all the people saying, oh, you got funny ever since you got cancelled, no! <laughs> all right? <laughs> this shit in week one that still makes me laugh, and also our very first episode featured Greg Larson dressed as a neo-Nazi furry, OK? <laughs> so... <laughs> we've been out here for a while doing weird shit. It's just no, no one was watching. And... Uh, <laughs> and also, to the people out there who were like, oh, why do you use canned laughter on your show? Fuck you, OK? <laughs> Every night you can see me interacting with the audience. And also, if we did use canned laughter, don't you think we'd make it sound like there was more than seven people? <laughs> That's how small I think. Seven people, and two of them were my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> But we've made really, really good stuff, and we've also been a platform, right? We've been a platform for, 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 for so many voices that don't get to go elsewhere. I'm really proud of that, too. We could have done better, sure, but, you know, the number of queer people, of gender-diverse people, of people of colour from different classes and stuff, we really tried very hard, and every now and again, we nailed that. I'm really proud of that. And over 160 episodes, we put... To, at a time when there was almost no live television on, tele, on, on Australian TV, or little to no stand-up, for, for, particularly for young and up in comics, we had 28 music performances over 160 episodes, and 44 stand-up spots. 44 stand-up spots. <laughs> 44. 44 brilliant comedians and Michael Chamberlain. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> <laughs> Finally, there we go. <laughs> Finally, I just want to talk to you, uh, dear viewer. Uh, first of all, I just have a few things to say to you. First of all, please support live comedy. Television is wonderful and great, but please go out and support comedians. There are people in comedy rooms right across this country who want to give you one of the best nights of your life you've ever had. Also, I'm touring next year. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> thank you so much to everyone at home for sticking with our show, for giving us feedback, for getting in touch on Facebook and Twitter. Yes, even the baby boomers. Uh, <laughs> We make a lot of jokes about baby boomers on the show. Quite a few baby boomers will get in touch and say, well, I'm a baby boomer, I really love your show, which is very nice, and also the most baby boomer thing you can ah. do. <laughs> no, I'm one of the cool ones. <laughs> um, I want to thank everyone who has come along to a taping of Tonightly. <laughs> there, there are a lot. And uh, thank you so much for rocking up. There was one person, Beck, who sadly cannot be with us tonight. She attended over 70 tapings of this television show. So um, that's amazing. It has always been fun. Thank you so much to Luke Ryan, our warm-up dude, and Wyatt before him have been amazing. Right, that's all about this show. That's quite a bit about this show. Finally, I just want to say what this show is about. Uh, this show is about this country, what's happening in the news, generally in the world, but also what's happening in this country. I love this country. I feel so lucky to be an Australian 
I know a bunch of people out there, perhaps in the conservative press, would suggest that that's not how I feel about this country or that, you know, you could take it for a whole bunch of reasons and suddenly you're anti-Australian. I love this country. My life has been amazing. I'm so lucky to have had the life I had and I try to remember as much as possible that other people don't uh, have the same opportunities that I do, even though I deserve it. So I just want to... <laughs> even though they deserve it. They deserve it. Oh, no. <laughs> They deserve it. We all deserve it. <laughs> we all deserve to be Tom Ballard. <laughs> um, so I just want to say to the young people watching, please do not be cynical about the politics of this country or politics as you see it. I know it's extremely easy when you look at all the shit that is happening at the moment and seems to continue to happen. Please do not stop believing in the idea that we can get together and make our country better. I really believe that we can do that. It often takes a whole lot of walk, uh, work, it takes a whole lot of time. Politics and political action is often really boring and involves a lot of admin. But I really, really do believe that if you engage and you care and you give a shit and you connect with other people, ordinary people, and you come together and try and work for the common good, amazing things can happen. So please, get involved, don't be cynical, stay engaged, and please keep laughing. <laughs> please do that. I mean, you know... I, I'm going to say all that, but really, the truth is, you actually don't have to worry at all about issues facing Australia because we kind of fixed them. <laughs> <laughs> Bit disrespectful. Um, <laughs> how can I put this? Hmm. <laughs> they said we couldn't do it, make a nightly satire show. We proved them all wrong, but still have to go. Were we out of touch? Did we swear too much? The answer's fucking no, you cunts. We did all that we could possibly have done. Because we are so woke, we fixed the whole world with our jokes. We did our jobs too well, and now there's no And that's the only possible reason we weren't renewed. Actually, I think online platforms like YouTube are becoming more and more no, popular. I say that at yeah, all. it probably has something to do with the one. ABC no, budget no, cuts. And also, the show was just quite rude. You're rude. The ratings were yeah, dog yeah, shit. Oh, ratings were awful. No, no, no. Thanks to my jokes, we fixed racism. Yeah, Nina, don't you agree? Uh, actually, Tom, I reckon that... <laughs> That's great. Nina's half Japanese. Wow. And ladies out there, you're welcome. We fixed sexism the most. Cos I'm such a great guy, every once in a while I let these bitches hoes. Good night, tonight, lady. Tonight, lady. Somebody please hire me. Sean McAuliffe, come and fight me. We changed hearts and we changed minds. Well, ABC kids at half past nine. Yeah, yeah. We barely got viewers at that time. But at least we had online. We fixed the banks, the gays, and climate change. Literally everything's the same. Come on, Tom, you don't believe this. Come on, guys, I really need this. Tonight, oh, Someone yeah. call it yeah, I fixed the world. Have been problems with my job to fuck you up. No need, Bridie. Comedy's over, because our show was sublime. Yeah. Now I'm gonna drink a lot of wine. 
I hung it up. Oh my god, I forgot my line. Nina, we practiced this so much. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to go back down the mine. What? Yes. Jesus. I never really liked this show, so I'll be fine. Oh, fucking great. For the last time from tonight, please.